Today, I'll show you how I made a futuristic guitar from scratch. So, first we need strings, right? Nah, let's choose something way more questionable. So we can make the guitar neck with touch sensitive pads like these. They act like a switch, except there are no moving parts like a real switch. Basically, a chip charges the pad over and over, and when your finger is close to the pad, the charge time takes longer. And that's how you detect it's touched. So now I'm gonna make this futuristic guitar neck circuit. Let's draw some rectangles, lots of rectangles. Each is a touch sensitive fret note arranged into four strings, like a bass. Done, now I'll send it to a fab to get made. Okay, now computation. It's time to connect the neck to a processor that can understand it. Touching a neck fret sends all the data we need over a shared communication channel called the I2C bus. This packet of data is saying what was pressed. So we'll need a processor that talks this language. Hmm, found one. The Atmega32U4 has I2C, USB, plenty of program memory and boot flash too. Perfect. Now it's time to create a printed circuit board for it. And now to have it made. So instead of strumming, we hit things now. And to do that, we need to integrate our next piece of tech, this sweet touchpad. This is a capacitive touchpad, just like the one on a notebook computer. But here, it's our futuristic percussive surface. The best part? It also speaks I2C, the same protocol as our neck. Don't worry, I already put a connector for it on the mainboard. Now, coding and testing to turn these electronics into something musical. To start, coffee. Okay, we're good. Now let's create a driver that can talk to the touchpad. When I touch the pad, it sends an interrupt to the processor. Here you can see the touch information coming from the pad. I'll write C code so the processor turns this data into sound controls. Next, go for a walk. Mental health is important. We need a driver that can talk to the neck. The neck has four touch chips, each one for a different group of sensors. When I touch one of these sensors, it also sends an interrupt to the processor. I'll write the code to listen for the interrupt and then retrieve the touch data with I2C. Now we need to make sounds. Not guitar sounds, obviously. That would make too much sense. Electronic sounds from these programs called synthesizers. I'll write code so that the USB port talks to a computer running these synths. The language they speak is called MIDI. So I'll start by writing code that detects a fret press combined with a touchpad press and sends a MIDI note on message, making the synthesizer play a sound. I'll spare you the part where I write 10,000 lines of code. Now it's time to compile the code and write it to the flash memory inside the chip by connecting the programmer to the board and hitting start in the IDE. Finally, the assembly. First, we need a body. The top face holds the electronics and ultrasonic threaded inserts are used as screw holes. The second thing we need is a bracket for the touchpad and this is to get it flush with the body. Light pipes channel the LED light to the surface. We also need a protective overlay for the next circuit, since we can't be touching raw circuit boards with our human hands. Last, the neck housing, to hold everything together. Now to finish assembly.
Keep me 